changed the face of divorce. It's it's definitely changing the way that litigating a divorce or the approach to litigating a divorce. Um, for example, it can be a very powerful investigative tool. Um, in the past, when we didn't have Facebook. Um, People may not know of their spouse's behavior, what they were doing behind their back, what types of people they were hanging around with, what sorts of places they were going to. Um, now that we have Facebook, we have a tool where we can look up these individuals. Um, we know where they're going, we know who they're hanging out with, and that can be used for or against you in court depending on on what side of the ball you're on. Um, there's it's really surprising the things that people will put on Facebook, especially when they know that litigation is pending or if it's ongoing. Um, the places that people check into, the individuals that people are friends with in, on Facebook, the pictures that they post, um, how they portray themselves on Facebook um, may be different than what they're trying, how they're trying to portray themselves in the courtroom. Would you say, in your years of, of uh, being an attorney and a, a divorce attorney, would you say that Facebook has caused more divorces? I would say that it, in, in certain cases it might expedite a divorce. Um, for example, it, it may give some validation to suspicions or rumors that a spouse may be hearing around town or from friends or family and it just gives them that solid piece of evidence or that validation that they really need to take that ne next step to file for a divorce. Um, at the same time, um, you know, it may be um, in some cases a situation where it's information that the spouse may never have come across if it wasn't for Facebook. Um, depending on how open people are and, and what they're putting out there, it, it certainly, I, in a lot of cases, expedites the process of a divorce and, and it can be that you know, final nail or that final straw that really pushes somebody to say, I've had enough, I want out of this relationship, and, and, and it gives them that, that confidence or, or the validation that they need to, to, to file because it's a big decision and it can be a hard decision and sometimes seeing you know, what they're doing and reading about um, you know, who they're hanging out with and what they're doing behind your back, that, that, can, be, that can be it. But have you seen that more um, more couples are getting involved with people they shouldn't become involved with, whether it be um, uh, bad friends from the past or a, an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend from the past, and um, you you wouldn't ever see that person in a million years, but boom, Facebook it just like is a platter right. Uh, in front of your face, yeah. have you seen that? Yeah, it, Facebook certainly allows us to ca uh, to cast a wider net as far as who we stay in contact with and, and who, who we keep in our circle of friends and, and, and what you put out there and the information that you respond to. I mean, I think that, you know, it certainly Facebook has the ability to put people in contact with individuals that they wouldn't otherwise be in contact with if it weren't for Facebook. Um, it is also another avenue to communicate with people um, in what is arguably a more private setting than texting or email. Um, it's just another forum for people to use to communicate and how people handle that. You know, people don't always handle that in the best way. Um, a new thing now is, you know, emotional affairs and it may not cross the line to physical but the fact that you're communicating with somebody on an intimate basis Facebook is certainly another forum that individuals have available to them um, in order to carry out uh, something like that. You know earlier I talked with a professor about how Facebook can enhance a romantic relationship. Um, is it safe to say or can, can you say based on your experience that Facebook can tear down a relationship? I think I can say that and, and you know one example is the amount of time that we spend on Facebook now is it's amazing. It's a distraction from your everyday life. You see people out to dinner you know more focused on what is on their phone than actually having face-to-face -face interactions with individuals. So I think that if a relationship is already on the decline. Facebook is a way to reach out to individuals, to reach out for support, to validate yourself. 
Um, if you have low self-esteem, it can be a way to reach out to individuals to boost your self-esteem, to make you feel good about yourself. And I think if a relationship is on the decline and a divorce is on the horizon, Facebook is certainly a way to fast track the divorce. Um, whether or not it, it, it's the cause on the front end, I can't say for sure, but it, it's definitely an outlet for individuals and, and a way for them to, you know, be a person, you know, you, you can be anybody online. And so, you know, it, you need to really proceed with caution when you're on Facebook. Um, everyone's worried about how an employer is going to view what they, what they put on Facebook. Very rarely do you hear people thinking about how that could affect them in the courtroom. And it certainly can be used against you in the courtroom. And what you put on Facebook is not as private as you think it is. And the things that you say and the places that you check into and the pictures that you post and the way that you carry yourself and portray yourself on Facebook can be a very damaging thing in the courtroom. Facebook has changed the landscape of, of divorce and the way that, uh, that attorneys um, proceed with handling a divorce and litigating in the courtroom. Um, the things that you think are private are not private. Once you put it out there, it's you, you can't take it back. And, you know, you, if you're going to post something on Facebook, there needs to be some accountability with that. And you need to be prepared to explain yourself if push comes to shove.